Hello, my name is Second, and we are playing God Slapper's Paradise. And first thing we're doing today, we got ourselves a dirt block, we got a hoe, and we got a carrot. Now we're going to vacation. Oof. What we want to do, you got to watch out here, buddy. You're, you're really going to want to watch out. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to plant a carrot, we're going to grow it, Hello? Did something happen? As you open the book, a strange item drops out. Do we have to harvest it with the, with the realm stone? Hello? Am I wrong about how this works? Let's see. Sir? Anyway, <laughs> let's check this out. I swear it's uh, to a fully grown pet. Throw a blank realm stone. Okay, okay. Let's take our magnet off. Here we go. Thought I was doing something wrong. Now let's see. Hello. Alright. One Gardensia Realm Stone. Alright. Got a Realm Stone. Nice big musical flourish. Let's head on through. I got a Mega Torch already here. We're gonna pop it down. Uh, I feel like around here is where I borked the last world by, uh, Using a bag of yurting and cutting one of these in half. Oh boy, even speaking of it has lagged the game. Alright, we're fine. It's just all spawning in here. Uh, we're going to want to get some monster balls out. Let's get out our battery and our digital miner and see if there's anything here worth, uh, worth picking up. We need to go fishing. That might be important. Alright. I did set this up in the overworld to uh, to look for polished dark stone. Or gilded dark stone, I mean. Um, there was not much in its radius. How about 15? Okay, there's no ore here. Or maybe... 50 blocks from spawn. This certainly looks like something. It might even be within the range of the, uh, what do you call it? Mega torch. Hello. Oh, we should get our, uh, our magnet back on, huh? Whoops. Hitting too many keys. All right. What are they, I wonder? Pod plants. Why are they? How are they? Hello? I feel like I hear a few. They're not very aggressive, are they? You know, we, we go to a candy dimension and we get like a great supply of like gingerbread cookies and now we're now but now the whole world's like eat your vegetables crying out loud oh my hello it's one of the apotheosis bosses <laughs> look at this one like stuff up here oh uh, block no wonder all right gina what's in here. I mean, we know about the pod thingies. I feel like there should be more going on around here. Are you violent? You are. Okay. Maybe we will take... Darn it. We're going to get our silk touch pick here. We're going to take some of this home. Uh, there it is. Oh, 
the lag there. Oh, it's carpets. That's awesome. Anything else in here? I like these watery towers. It's just the spawners. I saw something else. There is like this, yeah, this business. I suppose this is all about. Oh, we should probably take a few of these guys home with us. Let's clear out the old inventory here. Where'd he go? Fall to his death? Probably. You. Little carroty jerk. All right, we're inside that thing. I think there's something grown into it. Make it easy. Like a little maze in here. Oh, hello. Nature melon slice. Can I get seeds from this? No. What else is lying around in here? We, you don't you don't get very many chests in this, so like to find some, we're grabbing. It's too bad this place is such a mess. Maybe we can find a better one. What is this thing? Oh, I didn't want to set you on fire. I wanted to take you home. Now one thing we brought back with us is chili seeds, and I think we might even be able to plant them. Um, yeah, wonderful. Alright. Carrot top here. It was pretty small. There you go, buddy. The bar is back, but this thing was pretty big. So let's, uh, give them an equally big home. There we go. Nice. I don't have a tosis. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Now the uh the monster balls are all well and good, but uh, I don't have any more coral. I'm too lazy to go out and get any more. And I would like a few more monster picking up options. Do we need another bowl out here? I think we do. Let's see. So we're going to make some soul gems. They are, you just right click a mob and it picks them up. Hostile, passive. You know, it won't work on withers and stuff, but you know, nothing really works on that unless you're like Doc M77 moving withers around. Yeah, there it is. I'll make a couple more. Everything seems to be named after a flower in this. The Floro Castle which we couldn't really see the second floor of, has something important on the second floor. So we're going to try to find another one of those. I'd also like to look for one of these wizard flowers. There's a, there's a staff that they drop, and there's that one boss that, like, really only takes damage from stabs. So that would be a good thing. I'd also just like to learn to recognize some of it. Okay, what's this? This looks like something. Oh, this must be it. Is there a spawner? Yes, there is. Okay. There's also a bunch of these broccoli guys. Take your vitamin A and go home. Is it vitamin A that they have? I don't know. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way here some of these guys to spawn. That's not one. That's just another corn guy. And we got these guys. It's a mess out here. I don't know. We might have to take this home with us. We're really going to have to build a uh, Spawner area. Alright, you. Now, there's another structure. Something about daisies. 
Let's see if we can find one of those. Okay, not far. It's over this way. I'm gonna go on foot. See, if we oh, there's one of those flower guys. Okay, I want one of the flower guys. Come here. There you go. All right, corny. That was a flower face, right? Yeah. Okay, let's get... That looks important. Let's get some of this stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh, this must be it. It's not much... Oh, there's like a lot of spawners. Okay. Let's hope they fire. room here. Really no tools for that. I wonder if it has to be dark. Probably has to be dark, huh? Alright. We'll just take one home. Okay. This one looks like it's intact. Maybe. Is there an and okay, I think there's even an entrance. All right, all right. Not perfect, huh? A little messy. Let's see. Okay. Oh, oh large ferns. You love to see it. Oh, the stairs up. Found a couple more large ferns. <laughs> Actually, not complaining about it. You don't see those very often. I'll have to put them in an item frame or something. Hello. Goodbye. Here's another one of those garden castles. Looks a little more intact. There you go. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Haven't gotten any petals. Some of these guys drop petals. Why I grabbed flower face there. Mm. We're looking for like some kind of block up here. I'm just not sure what it is. Oh, here we go. One petal crafting station. Awesome. We got a sweet sword from somebody. And I guess we get golden carrots now. That's cool. So the next thing I want to think about is making some like mob farm, like like large scale, not like the Drigmies. Um, to that end, we are going to teach the system how to make vector plates. These are fantastic. Um, they have little zip entities right along on them. So we're down here. We got a spawner place. It's not firing. We're using also Scoria and the Dark Scoria from Create, which looks really good together. I've never really messed with these. Uh, they look really cool. <laughs> I, you know, I, I don't mind a brown. Like, and these, these are great browns. They look really cool. Um, they look, this would look cool, like, with dark oak, and like, this would look cool with spruce. Like, it's, anyway, um, what I want to do is I want to augment this spawner. And I believe... What's going on here? There it is. It just looks weird. Um, you can learn all about the different things that you can, uh, you can put on a spawner. We're going to start with just one thing, a comparator. Uh, that'll make it so that this is uh, redstone controlled. And we won't have to worry. You see, it's off now. It's not even spinning, like if we were way out of its range. So this thing is now safe. Well, that will be especially important with some of the advent of Ascension spawners. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this room and put the plates down. Now, for part of the floor, I want to use these brass casings. Um, I haven't really done much with Create, except with Create deco. Uh, we're definitely going to be getting into create as we uh, as we move farther along. It looks like 
Our best bet for this is actually the smeltery. We'll just have to make a small plate. Let's see. We might already have that. Let me go check. We did make it. Wonderful. And we're going to go through some brass. Um, we're going to make, I think... Yeah, we're just going to make uh, a whole thing with it here. It's not even all going to fit. Oh, we got a... Okay, we got lava there. Very good. We need a couple pipes. Now, I'll tell you what I'm not doing, and that is standing there like, right-clicking. So we're going to make ourselves a redstone clock from Cyclic. We're going to need a couple of these. Um, so I'm just going to make a, a recipe for them. Okay, we got a good amount of brass here. Pretty happy with that. Um, we're going to put the clock right up here. And it's always on. Don't need much of a delay because if it's not going to do, then uh, it just won't, you know, it won't be able to. So it's fine. We are going to need to dig out under here, aren't we? Because you, you can pipe out of these things, hoppers, what have you. That's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, we got some of these things. And we're going to run them right along like this. Isn't this nice? Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some dark glass. Do we have? We'll have to teach it how to make black stained glass, too, I guess. That's fine. Dark glass is uh, exactly like the tinted glass that's now in modern versions of Minecraft. Doesn't let light through, but you can see through. It really doesn't matter. Like, it's going to be lit up down there because of the, what do you call it? But there's something we can do about that, too. I'm really just doing it because I like the look of it. So we got a whole load of potential modifiers here. The other thing that we're going to want is to be able to turn this thing on and off remotely. So what we're going to want is, where are they? Let's see. Okay, we're definitely going to make one of these fancy levers. What I'm looking for, there's one. There's something you can put on a spawner. It might be one of these. Switch link transmitter. Da, 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 link Pearl. This is the thing we're looking for. Actually, I think it's this receiver that we want. Let's uh, make some of this stuff and then do 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 do. And we're gonna need an Ender Pearl. Good thing we have a few lying around. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slap the lever right here. And we're going to put the receiver right up here. And then I believe if we right click with an ender pearl, it'll give us a switch link pearl. We can right click this thing. And if we turn this on, that thing should start spinning. Very nice. Now, I think we can put like the spider eyes. Uh, I forget what they all do. You, you, we, we, you look all this up. In JI, we'll just go over to the spawner modification. We're going to ignore the light. We're going to increase the spawn count, increase the entities that can be around. We're going to lower the minimum spawn delay. We've already done redstone, a little bit of activation, and the we're going to lower the maximum spawn delay. Okay, I think we just maxed one out. We got the achievement. I'm going to throw all these on here. One of those. Some of these. I think we can put 20 sugar on. And don't know. Quite a few clocks. Okay, sweet. Now, last but not least, we have our vector plates. And we're going to want to place them just like this. You see, they move along pretty quick. Um, I think if we place it like this, it would. Now, okay. So we're going to have them all pointing towards the center from either side. 
And then we're gonna have these just going, whoa, nothing right there, please. We're just gonna have these go right along to here. And we're gonna block this off. And the room itself should be all set. I'm gonna grab one more thing that's gonna help us out. We're gonna make uh, the vacuum hopper, or an ender hopper, I should say. Do we have one already? No. Okay, very good. These will pick up items from a distance and deposit it into an inventory below. We're also gonna make ourselves a recipe for a, tr oh, we can just make a trash can, that's fine. There's a task. Now there's nothing like a farm for vanilla mobs to give you a bunch of garbage that you don't need. <laughs> We're gonna put this down. We're actually gonna take our, uh, our magnet off. And we're gonna have this thing, right? We're just gonna pop it right down on there. And we're gonna run an item pipe, just two for the time being. And we're gonna put these trash cans down. Right next to it is fine. We're gonna set these to whitelist so that only items that we set in these filters will be discarded. And this does, this does just delete stuff from the game. And you can't take it back out, like from your trash slots. So, uh, so be careful. When we turn this on, we're just gonna start getting skeletons to beat the band. Um, which is good, because we need soul shards. Um, there we go. It's getting some of the stuff in there, that's good. Oh, that's not ideal. Let's, uh, let's turn it off. It's off, right? Alright, that dark glass, uh, perhaps not the sturdiest if we can just break it with our scythe like that. So we will have to keep that in mind. But we picked up a few things, most important of which that we're gonna wanna be getting rid of are the bows. Um, oh, I've still gotta set this to extract, don't I? There we go. Uh, it just takes the bows right out. And golden chest plate, why not? We'll be getting plenty of those golden leggings. There we go. What else could we put here? Something, right? Something like, uh, well, what about another brass casing? Why not? We shouldn't be able to break that with a single swing of our scythe, right? Yeah, it'll take a second. We'd have to really, we'd have to really blow it to manage that. We gotta be pretty close for that thing to, well, I don't actually know that. But we can just farm this stuff up. And we'll have all the soul shards that uh, we could ask for. Now, instead of the vector plates, we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna use the other mob. The other mob that does all this stuff, uh, which we made the vacuum hopper from, or the ender hopper. Whichever one is which. Um, it's, it's mob grinding utilities. I, I can never keep them straight. Um, we're going to need fans, is what we're going to need. We're going to want six of them. We are also going to want some width upgrades. We'll probably want uh, quite a few of those. We're going to probably need some distance upgrades. That'll be cool. Well, what else do we have in here? We've got absorption radius. Mob masher, that's cool. We're definitely gonna want some mob mashers. We're gonna make, uh, we're actually gonna make three of these. So we're definitely gonna make a recipe. We will need to teach this thing how to make iron spikes, iron swords. Okay. 
Now while I've been digging those rooms and making them, I have bred ourselves up brass bees, so we won't have to keep uh, messing around with the smeltery if we don't want to. Now these fans are cool. We're gonna put them down like so. Oh, we're gonna have to get some more floor over here, aren't we? And I've left this, this open for now on purpose. Um, these will need redstone to function, so I'm going to want to kind of be able to turn this on and off. But we can click show area, you can see, okay, we're, we probably won't need the width ones on these then. Um, but we will want, oh, the width I mean, not the, the distance on those. So we can put distance and increase it so it's like so. We can do the same over here. Now to power these things, we just need a, a normal lever. So we're going to make a, a fancy one. By normal, I mean it doesn't have to uh, to have like the ability to work over a distance or anything. It'll be fine. And when these things are powered with redstone, you can see them working. You do get pushed right along. We're going to push everything right to the center here. Now there's also this sweet absorption hopper, which I think can, uh, can, what am I trying to say? I think it can like suck things through walls, basically. We're going to give it a try. All right, now this thing also has, uh, you know, it's got a gooey all kinds of things going on. Um, we can show the area. We're going to want to, which way are we facing? We're facing west. Let's see where that puts it. That puts it right there. That's probably a good place for it. We're going to have it send, let's see, which face is this? This would be, that would be the east face, right? We're going to turn east to item. Yep, we can see uh, a little thing pop out there. We're going to set the top to fluid, because this thing will farm experience for us. Now the first thing I want to farm, and let's get our uh, comparator out, are some things, or some of these guys. Uh, vine wizards, that's right. They spawn, they, they spawn regardless of light levels, so uh, redstone control is a key. That might be all we need. For these guys. We are going to want some prismarine to extend the, uh, the range that we can be in. Let's see. There we go. And then what we should be able to do... Oh, I didn't... Uh, I got to hook up the, the remote to it. Alright, here's another one of these fancy little levers. They mostly just craft into each other. They're, uh, I really like them. But now, what we should be able to do is just flip this on, right, it's spinning. We should see some spawns. Might want to speed it up a little bit. Okay, we're starting to spawn here. We can turn the fans on. That's not the right one. That's the right one. Now, I'll just go flying back there. Those things will wipe them out. We'll be in good shape. Yeah, okay, that's what we're looking for. These tangle staffs. I think these are the uh, the only way to get those. All right, we got an ultimate fluid tank down here. It should store up, uh, you know, a lot of experience for us. Okay, yeah, here's the other thing. We can farm runes from these guys, so we're just going to let this run for a little while. I don't know if I mentioned, these mob mashers do count as a player kill. So, uh, you know, that's good. Now we've been farming those Gardensia guys from our Drigme setup. I did add another Drigme down there. We are getting all five petal types, so we can craft ourselves one of these. These have a couple of uses. Uh... As an item, they, they don't do anything. We gotta use them on other things. They will summon a boss for us in Gardensia. Alright, we're back in Gardenland here. 
Uh, somewhere in this thing is this Enochor shrine. Um, there's just a... Uh, what is that thing? Well, it's going to be dead in a second, so that's what it is. Let's see. How can we see this thing? Um, this is just, oh, here it is. Oh, okay, so it's in an enclosed room. All right, well, let's do ourselves a favor. And we're going to make a little space up here. I haven't seen anything here that flies. Hopefully this stuff will be no exception. Okay, we've got ourselves a ceiling cut off here. I think we just right click. I smell flowers. Where is this thing? Oh, there it is. Living growth. Oh, okay, yeah, there's the boss. Oh, okay, it adds these, uh, yellow flowers. Oh, I had to be careful. Oh, and I have blue ones. You guys aren't so tough. Looks like they're melee only. Yeah, definitely taking the ceiling off and slapping this guy from a distance is the thing to do. Oh, all these guys stick around. They're not like the, the creeper guy boss where, uh, where all the little bams disappear or whatever they're called. Oh, kill them all. Why not? Maybe get some more petals. Yeah, we got a fancy automatic gun. And I think that's going to about do it for this time, folks. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.